And welcome to the Sunday News at 10. I'm Doug Petcash. It's taken three years to get to this point. Lori Vallow's trial is scheduled to start tomorrow morning. She's the Rexburg mom accused of killing two of her own children, JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan. She's also charged with conspiracy in the killing of the late wife of her current husband, Chad Daybell. Both face charges for the three deaths, but it's Lori who will face a judge and jury starting tomorrow. News Channel 7's Shira Matsuzawa has a timeline now of how we got to here. Spanning from Idaho to Arizona to Hawaii, this case has captivated the nation since the disappearance of seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan, who vanished in September of 2019. Their mother, Lori Vallow Daybell, never reported them missing. But four months later, Lori and her husband, Chad Daybell, were tracked down in Hawaii in January of 2020. Here, hotel staff members tell me that Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell actually checked out of their hotel rooms here just about 90 minutes ago. Chad, where are Lori's kids? Nate Eaton with East Idaho News was in Kauai this weekend right after police served Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell with two search warrants. One for this black Ford Explorer the couple was driving around the island and another for their Kauai townhome where the couple's been living. They've been missing for four months. You have nothing to say? You're over here in Hawaii? But the mystery surrounding the kids' disappearance started long before Lori and Chad were found in Hawaii. Lori married Chad in Hawaii on November 5th. He's her fifth husband. But before that, she was married to Charles Vallow, and they lived in Arizona. In January of 2019, body camera footage from Arizona police shows Charles pleading to officers for Lori to get help and claiming she was trying to kill him. You're gonna murder today or tomorrow? But officers determined she was fine. About five months later, on July 11th, Lori's brother, Alex Cox, shot and killed Charles in what Alex claimed was self-defense. Body camera footage shows police responding to the home. And is he hurt or is he alive? Or... Yeah, there's blood, he's, he's not moving. Lori showed up a short time later. How long have you lived here? Like three weeks. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay. That's why the neighbors don't know us. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> like, hi, neighbor, sorry. The very next month, Lori, Tylee, JJ, Alex, and Lori's niece, Melanie, moved to Rexburg. September 8th, 2019, the last time 17-year-old Tylee Ryan is seen. She was on a trip to Yellowstone with her mother, Lori Vallow, and uncle, Alex Cox. A cellular analysis survey team, or CAST, with the FBI analyzed data from Alex's phone. According to the probable cause affidavit, the GPS data points used by CAST are highly accurate, placing a device within six meters of its location. On September 9th, one day after the Yellowstone trip, that GPS data puts Alex's phone at Lori's Rexburg apartment between 2.42 a.m. and 3.37 a.m. This is the only time he was at Lori's between midnight and 6 a.m., according to the PCA. A few hours later, 9.21 a.m. until a little after 11 a.m., Alex's phone pings at Chad Daybell's property, specifically placing him behind the home near the barn. Just 14 minutes after Alex leaves, Chad sends a text to his then wife, Tammy Daybell. The text reads, quote, I've had an interesting morning. I felt I should burn all the limb debris by the fire pit before it got too soaked by the coming storms. While I did so, I spotted a big raccoon along the fence. I hurried and got my gun and he was still walking along. I got close enough, one shot did the trick. He's now in our pet cemetery, fun times. Police state this was suspicious because raccoons are nocturnal. Neighbors of Chad's also reported to police frequent bonfires at Chad's house, which was out of the norm. Fast forward a few weeks to September 22nd, the last time J.J. Vallow was seen. Police interviewed Melanie Gibb and her boyfriend David Warwick, who were visiting Lori that weekend. They told police Lori said J.J. had turned into a zombie. The next morning, September 23rd, between 8 and 9 a.m., Warwick didn't see J.J. and asked where he was. Lori stated he was acting out, so, quote, Alex had come and taken J.J. GPS data once again puts Alex on Chad's property that day from 9.55 a.m. until 10.12 a.m., pinging near the pond. At the time, Chad was married to Tammy, and they also lived in Rexburg. By this point, Chad and Lori were believed to have some type of relationship. Court documents show they met in 2018 at a religious conference in Utah. 
Then, on October 19th of 2019, Tammy Daybell died in her sleep. Court records show 10 days before her death, Tammy called 911 and reported a masked man shot at her in her driveway. Court documents later indicate Lori's brother tried to shoot and kill Tammy. Initially, a coroner ruled Tammy died of natural causes, but investigators later reopened the case and exhumed her body on December 11th. One day later, Lori's brother Alex died suddenly of natural causes. Two weeks later, Lori and Chad got married in Hawaii. Then four months later, in February of 2021. The County Sheriff's Office has received the autopsy report on Tammy Daybell's body from the Utah Medical Examiner, but they are not releasing it to the public just yet. That report has still not been released, but Lori and Chad are charged in connection with conspiring to kill Tammy. On November 26th, one month after Tammy's death, Kay and Larry Woodcock, JJ's grandparents, ordered a welfare check for JJ. Police say Lori told them JJ was with her friend Melanie Gibb in Arizona. Melanie told East Idaho News Chad called her that day and said when police call, don't pick up the phone. He says, yeah, the police are over at Lori's house checking on JJ. And I'm like, JJ's not with Kay? <laughs> No, my heart dropped deeper. Rexburg police returned to Lori's home the next day, this time with a search warrant. But Lori was gone. That's when Chad and Lori, newly married, are found in Hawaii. Police in Hawaii served a court order saying Lori had five days to physically produce the kids. The newlyweds ignored that deadline. She's got an, an end game in her head, and although it, this is not a game, but Obviously, she thinks it is for you to shun an order from a court telling you what you need to do. Police arrested Lori in Hawaii on February 20th, 2020. She was charged with child desertion, obstructing an officer, contempt of court, and solicitation to commit a crime. Do you know that you have been charged uh, in the state of Idaho uh, with a number of charges? At this point, both her kids are still missing. Lori was extradited from Hawaii to Idaho on March 5th. KTVB was the only media outlet to get video of Lori landing at the Boise Airport. From there, she was flown to Rexburg. Welcome back, Lori. Where are your kids? Tell us where your kids are. KTVB was there as she made her first court appearance in Idaho on March 6th. All right. Her son, Colby Ryan, was also there along with Kay and Larry Woodcock. Where are Tyler and JJ? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? Fast forward to June of 2020, nine months after JJ and Tylee disappeared. Investigators searched Chad Daybell's Idaho property and found human remains. That's when police arrested him. The uh, investigators and detectives have recovered uh, what's believed to be human remains that are uh, not identified at this time. Rexburg police later confirmed the remains belonged to JJ and Tylee. I just want you to know I came here for one thing. That's, that's the C word. Then in May of 2021, a Fremont County grand jury indicted the couple on two charges of first degree murder and conspiracy to commit first degree murder. And another first in this case, with Daybell charged with first degree murder of his late wife, Tammy Daybell. Members of the grand jury deliberated and determined there is probable cause to believe the Daybells willfully and knowingly conspired to commit several crimes that led to the death of three innocent people. A few weeks later, on June 8th, Lori was deemed not fit to stand trial. The case was paused for nearly a year. But on June 24th, another grand jury in Arizona indicted Lori on conspiracy to commit murder charges in the death of her fourth husband, Charles Vallow. A trial for those charges won't happen until the conclusion of the trial in Ada County. Thank you, please be seated. In April of 2022, Lori is found competent for trial. She was then formally arraigned on murder charges and pled not guilty. One month later, prosecutors said they would pursue the death penalty against Lori. But then, in October of 2022, Judge Stephen Boyce issued a ruling to suspend the trial until Lori's competency could be determined. 
One month later, the judge ruled she was competent to stand trial once again. Then in March of 2023, Judge Boyce ruled Lori and Chad's cases would be severed, meaning they will now be tried separately. Which brings us to today and Lori's trial in Ada County. Trial proceedings do start tomorrow morning at the Ada County Courthouse. And to be clear, court officials say it will start with jury selection. That is expected to last about a week, so it is going to take a while. The entire trial may last several months. And KTVB will be there every step of the way. For all the information you need to know about the upcoming trial, you can text the word VALO to the number on your screen, 208-321-5614. We'll send you the latest on what's happening in the case.